We are here today on a beautiful spring day. It is uh, about probably 50 degrees out here, so just a little chilly, but not too chilly for not too chilly for our little veggies. Okay, so I wanted to give you a nice little overview of what's coming up right now. Give you an idea of what the plant you know, so that you can start your garden and, and start your garden with, with, with intent and with purpose so that you're not trying to scruff around trying to figure out what you're going to eat in May or what you're going to eat in April or what you're going to eat in February, okay? So uh, March and April have been an abundance of food so far with the ground elder coming up. Beautiful, beautiful lemon balm coming up. So. The ground elder tastes like spinach, okay? You would just take these little guys right off and go ahead and harvest them. Ground elder, okay? Describe that's, the leaves. That's ground elder, and that tastes just like spinach. So you look it up under Queen Anne's Lace or ground elder, and you find out the nutritional value of ground elder. It's very, very good for you. It's um, very high in nutrition and nutrients, very nutrient dense. It's actually good for gout, okay? And so, you also have coming up, well, it was coming up before I pulled it, <laughs> uh, lemon balm. Lemon balm is wonderful for anxiety. It's, it's just delicious. It's full of vitamin C. And, you know, if you can see that leaf right there, it's just gorgeous, beautiful. It would dance in your dishes so nicely in your juice, okay? So you make hot tea with this lemon balm, you have a delicious tea. And it's absolutely free. You don't have to go to a grocery store for it, right? And it just smells just like lemons. So it's delicious. It tastes like lemons, too. So you can cook with it, you can bake with it, or you can infuse your water. And then you make your own, you know, you make your own uh, uh, vitamin water. So yeah, that's lemon balm. We also have, uh, this here is um, an invasive weed called, called purple dead nettle. Okay, now, you might not like that name, purple dead nettle, but purple dead nettle is very dense in nutrients. It's actually part of the mint family, okay? And so you get plenty of iron, plenty of vitamins and minerals in the purple dead nettle. So don't be set apart by the name. It's very good. Also, this one is called Curly Doc, okay? Mm -hmm. And Curly Doc has wonderful medicinal um, purposes, wonderful uh, uh, weed for you to look up and use. Put these things in your salads, put them in a saute, and eat them. They're coming out. They're very, very valuable for you. Okay, so here we have um, this coming up the golden rod. This is what it looks like in the spring. It flourishes in the fall and it just is so, so tall and it's so, so tall. And then off of it comes a golden rod full of flowers and gold. And it's just so beautiful. So now here we have this little guy is called stinging nettle and stinging nettle is very high in iron and this under here what we have is called clover so you got your clover here which is microgreens you have your stinging nettle here which is full of iron okay so it's not always good to pull things up if you don't know the value of it it's good to study it and make sure that you understand what you have now over here i want you to see the beautiful have they're not out because because it's about to rain so these are called violets these are natural purple violets okay and it all is like purple with the purple dead nettle and the purple violets and the hostas oh my gosh this little grove here is full of food okay and then you have your curly dot and don't forget the value of your dandelions, folks. Okay? Your dandelions are going to be your friend. We often cut them um, down and 
you know, kill them and weed them. But we actually want to set them free. <laughs> All right, so that's a flower. That's nothing right now. But what we have over here oh, is the Hebrew Academy. Now, in the Hebrew Academy, I have a lot of things planted that I don't know what they are because the mice got to my seeds and everything and just like fell out. So this is the Hebrew Academy. We're gonna let this grow and we're gonna keep you posted on that. Here, we have something called broadly, uh, well, this is narrow leaf plantain. The narrow leaf plantain is also completely edible. You can eat the, the leaves and the seeds. It comes up in a nice little rod and your seeds could come off of it. They're really, really high in nutrients for you. So here it looks like um, we have in this aisle, dandelion, purple dead nettle, and this one I'm just going to let grow. But in this aisle here, we have, um, we have the uh, purple kale. In this aisle here, we have planted the mustard green. In this aisle here, we have planted the arugula the eggplant you know and in this aisle here we planted other things we planted a lot of different stuff here and you can see you know it's just coming up because the soil is so good and so and, and it's welcoming it's welcoming those little seeds but we don't want to pull up our weeds because our weeds are our friend because they will grow okay they will grow regardless of what any condition they're very strong now this one is like our narrow leaf plantain. This is the broad leaf plantain. And that will be a nice long rod that comes up with a stem on it that is full of seeds. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the stem, you can eat the seeds. And of course here, we have more of the ground, oh, we have more of the clover. Now that might be white clover, but there's also something called red clover, and I'm sure you've heard of it. But the red clover and the white clover are full of protein. Red clover being even more nutritious than the white clover. We have dill in this aisle. We have so much that we have in store for us that hasn't even come up yet. And so here also, um, back here we have a medley of different things, wild ferns, and, but we have blueberries. So we have Patriot blueberries and we have something called lemonade blueberries. So they taste like lemons. So that's in addition to the lemon balm, you can put blueberries into your drink and infuse your own water, make your own water. Vitamin water is very, very important. Good way to start your day. So here we have again, the narrow leaf plantain, the narrow leaf plantain. We have some wild strawberries, yes, they are edible. We have purple dead nettle. We have some jasmine coming up. This is gorgeous when it goes to flower. Okay, but you have to maintain this. This is jasmine. So um, you have to maintain it so because it'll take over. And these are the things that you want to have. Of course, this is an azalea bush. But these are the things that you want to have in your yard. Now, also, when you're planting, plan for hostas. The hostas are edible. However, if you've if you've contaminated your land, you want to wait for about a year and a half to allow all of that contamination to 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 um, to be to to be eradicated from your ground because you don't want to grow things and eat things that are contaminated. Okay, so you do your raised beds or you do nothing. You just let it all go fallow. Okay, and so here we have. A pine tree now the pines are edible okay for this particular pine tree also your pine cones so it's going into bloom right now it's growing and it's looking really healthy and and looking very wise it's a very very old tree but we have to we have to remember take stock of your your weeds because your weeds are your friends they're very dense in nutrients. They're very powerful, okay? Stop contaminating your land. You don't want to do that. The reason why they call places a pharmacy where you go get your medicine is because they get it from the farm. So we have to create our own personal farms at home, whether it be a windowsill garden, 
whether it be a porch garden, use your rafters, have hanging baskets, but be in control of your food. Back here, we're gonna have some tomatoes growing up. We'll keep you posted about that. But enjoy the earth and put that energy into it. You'll get a lot of energy back out. Have a wonderful day, Mishpakati. Y'all bless. Shalom.